Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Andex, aka 259 Sports and Simulations. I've already reached 1,000 subscribers, and I thank each and every single one of you for subscribing to my channel. Let's not waste any more time. We're getting straight into the meat and potatoes. You know what this is. This is the Trivia Murder Party 2 Medley Tournament, and we're going to make the selection for all 63 slots. And I say 63 because Alana Atroid, last time's winner, will be in Episode 8 to defend her belt. Alright, so in case you don't know how the whole tournament goes, eight completely random names from this wheel will be selected into the tournament. Eight in one episode, eight in the second. We'll have eight episodes of this. The eight winners of each of those eight preliminary episodes will face off against each other for the championship for all the marbles. Um, if a preliminary episode does not produce a winner, in, in other words, nobody made it out of the final round, then whoever made the most money goes on to the championship. You guys know how it goes. I will explain more about the details in my um, upcoming shorts vids and uh, in my community posts. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed, do so right now. Let's go ahead and get this wheel a spinning. Our first slot for episode one is Brandon Perna from That's Good Sports. Woo! That's good, sports. All right, so we got Brandon Perna in slot number one for episode one. Um, oh, by the way, I am no longer writing it down in my notebook. I have a separate computer um, that's that has Microsoft Excel that allows me to um, um, keep better track of that. By the way, I will post a screenshot onto my community page. Anyway, let's go ahead and make the second selection. If you do hear a slurping a little bit, I'm still trying to get my coffee in me. Cookie Master said is number two in the slot. Damn, that's good community coffee. Anyway, Cookie, Cookie Master said number two in the slot. Here we go. Number three is going to be. Hitch Trailblazer from My Little Pony uh, New Generation, gen uh, yeah, New Generation uh, G5, the one that Chris Chan doesn't like. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I've been uh, following up on all the Chris Chan crap, including all the ramblings of a madman letters from jail. Why? Because apparently I... I don't have a reason. I'm just I was just bored at the time. Anyway, let's spin the wheel again, see what else we can get for number four. It's going to be Andrew WK! Ho oh, ho, one of my favorite um solo artists of all times. He he is the party rock god, god of partying. His newest album, God is Partying, is uh, out and about, so let me go ahead and type him in. Oh my goodness. Alright. Uh, so, nothing of really to note, but then again, we are super early in the selection show, so anything can happen. Let's go and spin the wheel and see who gets slot number five. Vox from Has Been Hotel. Woo boy! Oh yes, our first. Oh yeah, get used to seeing a lot of Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss stuff. I kind of. Uh, Went a little uh, hell happy with the character selections there. But it's not just going to be all about Aspen Hotel or Hell of a Boss. I don't have, there's not enough slots to uh, fill to do that. Anyway, let's um, spin the wheel again. See who will get number six. Striker from Hell of a Boss is in the number six spot. All right. Uh, just a little quick recap, Brandon Perna, Cookie Masterson, Hitch Trailblazer, Andrew WK, Vox, and Stryker. Who will take up the next two spots? Cherry Bomb! Another has-been hotel character. Uh, she's the 
cycloptic character that throws around but she's Angel Justice's um gal pal. Alright, last slot for episode one is going to be occupied by Mrs. Jesus Christie Weston Chandler Solitude, the goddess CPU Blue Heart, and your Lord and Savior, she is going to fail this one. So I swear to God, if she somehow manages to make her way to the goddamn championship, oh boy, we are all going to be doomed. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I, I'm just going to type Chris Chan. Um, in the last slot, because I don't want the, well, I don't think I could fit the whole title in the, in the player name base anyway, but yes, that's actually what, uh, Chris Chan is now signing her name under, in all those jail layers. Okay, so, recap for episode one is going to be Brandon Perna from That's Good Sports, Cookie Masterson, Hitch Trailblazer from MLPG5, oh, wait a minute, oh, what are the... One of the mortal enemies of Chris Chan. Oh, oh boy. Andrew WK, Box, Striker, and Cherry Bomb from the Hasman Hotel, Hell of a Boss Lore, and of course, Chris Chan, him slash herself slash themselves. I'm not going to uh, go into too much detail there, but it's going to be quite interesting. All right, time to start episode two, first slot to be occupied by. Bubbles Rose Chew, one of Chris Chan's OCs. Bubbles Rose Chew, I think that's the uh, water. Yeah, I got a little question about that. Isn't water weakened by electricity like that? Why the hell did you make a Pokemon both water and electric? That makes no freaking sense. But then again, this is Chris Chan we're talking about. Nothing makes sense in this world. Anyways, we're going to spin the wheel and see what we managed to snag up. Queen Chrysalis! Oh, from the OG. No, not OG. G4. Like, OG is like back in like 1980-something anyway. There you go. Queen Chrysalis in the second slot. We're going to see who takes up number third. And it will be... Blitz O! Or, I'm sorry, Blitz. The O is silent. The O is silent. Remember, Andex, the O is silent. Silence! This is library. Anyway, we're going to spin the wheel one more go, and let's see what we got. Luna! Woohoo! We got a little bit of a father daughter dynamic in episode two. Blitz! And Luna. Oh boy. Yeah, I kind of went a little mad happy with the uh, with the spindle horse animation floor. Anyway, I'm going to spin the wheel one more go. See what we pick up. Golden Heart! Now, this is actually one of Alana's OCs. I featured it in an episode um, of the Power Fighters Federation. I forgot how Alana said it, but it, it, was, a, it was a dang good lore. That uh, she introduced it to uh, uh, DeviantArt, and I'd like to, and I was looking for an excuse to feature them again. So, by the way, if you haven't done so, go to Alana's DeviantArt page. It's Alana Artroid. I might link it in the description below, or um, just uh, slap the spelling on it. Anyway, we're gonna spin the wheel one more go. See who's going to take up slot number six in episode two, and that's going to be Izzy Moonbo. Izzy Moonbo. That's another um, pony from. I think that's the unicorn, I believe, uh, from the G5 film. No, I haven't actually had the time to uh, watch it myself. I was a little too occupied with Butte's Football League. Which I may or may not be the commissioner of. Anyways, episode 7, I mean slot 7, Bricks Jr. Speaking of Mutant Football League, Bricks Jr. is the uh, parasitic um, mutant head that grew on the Bricks, 
grew grew on the shoulder of uh, Brickhead Mulligan as a result of Brickhead Mulligan taking a ton, a ton of steroids. Um, you, he is one of the commentators of the Mutant Football League alongside uh, Grim Blitzrow and Brickhead Mulligan. All right. So there we go, Briggs Jr. That's going to be a very interesting tidbit. If Briggs Jr. makes it to the championship alive, but not Brickhead Mulligan, huh. I'm not going to think too deeply. I'm going to spin the wheel one more time, and we're going to see who will get the next spot. Wheel's acting a little laggy. But anyway, if it's still working, we're still going to work it. Trailblazer, I think that's, yes, that's another one of Alana's uh, Power Fighters Federation OC. Anyway, next up is Husk. For, oh, crap. I forgot I already filled up episode two of this slot. But yeah, Husk is going to be in the first slot for episode three. Episode two is going to be recapping Bubbles Rose 2, Queen Chrysalis, Blitzo, Blitz, The O is Silent, Luna, Golden Heart, Izzy Moonbo, Fritz Jr., and Trailblazer. What a combination. Episode 3, first slot is going to be occupied by Husk. Alright, slot 2 for episode 3 is... Gino Samuels, the guy that uh, created... The Chris Chan documentary. The one that's got 59 freaking parts and only goes up to around mid-2007. He is uh, taking a bit of a hiatus after the whole um, incest uh, call leaks. But he will be back uh, sometime in early 2022. Probably after Chris Chan's uh, next hearing. Probably going to be his final. Boy, he's been in jail for quite a long time. Check up his quickie to see how things are going. I'll give you a hint. Not very well. Number three for episode three is going to be filled up by... Pete Quinnell from Wrestle Talk. Alright, so Wrestle Talk is a uh, YouTube channel filled with uh, commentators. Oh, hold on, I'm spelling his name wrong. Full of uh, YouTube commentators. Basically, their job is to uh, cover everything that has happened in the world of WWE, AEW, Impact, yada yada yada, and each All right, you gotta support Russell Talk. Go to their channel. All right, just look it up on YouTube. You're gonna, you're, you won't regret it, unless of course you're not a fan of professional wrestling. But hopefully, you will be soon. Anyway, I'm gonna spin the wheel one more go. And see who gets slot number four for uh, episode three. As you can tell, I am the. Oh, Luke Owen, also from Wrestle Talk. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to get really interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Episode three is going to be a very interesting tidbit. All right, we're going to go ahead and spin the wheel one more go. Number five is going to be occupied by. Blake! That is the, um, the Black Sonic Chew from the Christian lore. Um, originally it was just simply a Black Sonic Chew, and why did I put Black? I wanted Blake. Until people started bringing up, um, it could be con connotated to Rick. Basically, they were trolling Chris into changing Black Sonic Chew's name to Blake. Um, yeah, like I said, Chris Chan lore, it goes super deep. I went way too deep in that rabbit hole, and I now completely regret my entire life. Anyway, we're going to spin the wheel one more go. Skull Shocker! One of the uh, heel characters from Alano Atroid Power Fighters Federation OCs. Woohoo, boy. Alright, so we got Skull Shocker in the game now. Uh, episode, slot 7 for Episode 3 going to be occupied by...
Guy Towers. That was the guy that um, hosted one of the slots for You Don't Know Jack the Ride. Guy Towers. And I think he also did um, You Don't Know Jack Sports, if I'm correct. He, I, no, Buzz did episode, yeah, so I think Guy Towers did the uh, sports one. Because that was when Cookie um, was still doing the signing stuff. Anyway, spinning the wheel one more time. Final slot for episode three is going to be occupied by... Keeney, one of the cherubs from Has Been Hotel. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a very interesting. That's going to be the same episode slot as Hust. Oh, boy. I wonder... Oh, yeah, she makes it to the championship, and so does Blitz. Oh, this is going to be all sorts of uh, interesting, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so recapping for episode three, it's going to be Husk, Geno Samuels, Pete Quinnell, Luke Owen, Blake, Skull Shocker, Guy Towers, and Keeney. All right, we're going to move on to episode four. First slot of that is going to be occupied by... Octavia from Hell of a Boss, and the reason why I put Octavia with the Hell of a Boss because it was the same name as Octavia from My Little Pony. Didn't want to didn't want to confuse anybody on that there, even though I did not include Octavia from My Little Pony in this list. All right, well, hindsight's twenty twenty, ain't it? All right, let's spin the reel one more time, see who gets episode, slot two for episode four. And it shall be Liquid Chris. Oh, now I actually do want to see Chris Chan make it to the championship and Liquid Chris as well. We're gonna see some old classic time. You know, I I really want to hear from uh, Chris Duckworth or John Duckworth. Those were the twin dudes that were behind the Liquid Chris character. I really want to hear from them to see what they think of Chris Chan's situation right now. I really want to hear their words. I would sell my soul just to, to score an interview with them. That was a weird, uh, sell soul to hell joke. Anyway, spinning the wheel one more go. We have... Dylan Todd! <laughs> So anybody that doesn't know, Dylan Thomas is one of the uh, Chris Chan commentator channels that also does um, comics and video games and stuff. Um, it's pretty easy to find. Just type up that name on that you see on the screen on YouTube, and you will see the guy on board. He, you, but and he's also started talking about Rings of Redemption, Dark Side Phil, and Linkara, three epic locales of the internet, which. I kind of, I kind of wanted to include them on this list, but I ran out of slots on the reel. The wheel only allowed me to uh, do like um, 100 slots at a time before I had to purchase for an upgrade or something like that. Anyway, slot four is going to be occupied by. Wilbur! That is one of the characters in the uh, Dream SMP series. By the way, Alana Troy did a damn good animate, a animaic, or however it's supposed to be pronounced, of uh, Wilbur, Ra uh, Rambo, and Tubbo, called, I think, Tubbo Skyscraper City or something like that. I'll put the link in the description below. But, uh, yeah, look up Alana Troy's YouTube channel and look for the uh, animaic. It's Pretty damn funny. Anyway, I need to type in uh, Wilbur's name. Alright, gonna go ahead and spin that wheel. One more go. See who takes up slot number five in episode four. It's going to be Punchy Sonichu. Uh, yes, the one that actually kind of looks more like Knuckles the Echidna from uh, Sonic the Hedgehog more than uh, Sonic the Hedgehog himself, but yeah, Punchy Sonichu is one of the chaotic combo from the Chris Chan lore. Alright, slot number six in episode four is going to be...
Phyllis Cloverleaf from uh, My Little Pony G5. Um, I forgot which. Like I said, I never saw the. I never saw the movie, so I have no idea what she looked like. I just went through Wikipedia, looked up the list of characters, and threw it on a threw it on one of the episodes. Anyway, I'm gonna spin the wheel one more go. Dizzaroli from uh has been um hell of a boss, excuse me. Um yeah. I thought Fizzaroli was Robo Fizz in of itself, but it turns out it was just uh, his robotic doppelganger. Uh, yeah, he, he actually made his official uh, debut on the recent episode, episode 7, I think, titled uh, Aussies. Yeah, that was a very fucking sad episode. Vivian Madrano, you did me dirty with that episode. You tugged at my heartstrings so raw. I did not like it. I did not like that at all. You're not supposed to make me cry. I'm going to spin the wheel to try and uh, get my mind off of that. Let's see uh, what we got for the last slot of episode 4. We have... Serpentius. Aha, the overlord wannabe from Hasbin Hotel. Ah, uh, yes. And he's even got his own little army of minions. Which are also known as Egg Boys. Alright, episode four. Octavia, Liquid Chris, Dylan Thomas, Will Burrs, Punchy Sonichu, Phyllis Cloverleaf, Fitzeroli, and Sir Pentius. Alright, we're going to go ahead and uh, spin the wheel one more go to see who gets the first slot in episode five. And that's going to be Tom Grossi! Oh, from the Tom Grossi uh, cha comedy channel. Tom Grossi is a vegan YouTuber that is known for his uh, diehard fandom of the Green Bay Packers. Um, he does the um, AFC and NFC's uh, rest reaction to NFL. It's pretty damn funny. Go look him up on YouTube. It's supremely funny. Supremely funny. Spin in the wheel. And what we got is Valentino from Hasden Hotel, aka the Rat Man. Um I actually Hold on, hold on, let's see if I can pull this off. I'm, I'm gonna try to uh, emulate uh, urinating tree for a second. Fuck you, rat man! Nailed it. One take. Alright, spinning the wheel one more go. And what do we have here? Sweet Sally May! That hell of a boss. Yep, that's the, uh... I, yes, that's the trans character. And I think I spelled her name correctly. That's, um... That's, uh, Millie's sister from the episode. I Oh, God, what was the name of the episode? Uh... The one that features Striker's song. I forgot what it is. Harvest Moon Festival, I think. Well, I need to... Maybe I should write a script. I'm doing this whole thing free-handed without a script at all. Brian Zane from Wrestling With Regret. Of course, we gotta finally drag his butt into the medley tournament. Because, why not at this point? Spin the wheel one more go and let's see what we have. And, oh, wheel's a bit laggy, but let's see. Ah, woo-hoo-hoo-hoo, Mimbu from Subordinary Gamers. Oh, my goodness, yes, yes. I, I, I just, I think, um, I only started following Mudahar, um, from Subordinary Gamers, uh, just only a couple of months ago, but holy shit, he is supremely entertaining, ultra funny, love the guy, just love the, love the guy, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta check him out, it's Some Ordinary Gamers, um, I think the icon you're looking for is a green controller that kind of looks very generic, but, oh, uh, and he even has his own subreddit that's, uh, filled with the most craziest of memes, 
Uh, viewer discretion is advised if you decide to go on uh, Reddit r slash some ordinary gamers or Motorhar. I forgot what it was. Anyway, spinning a wheel. And we're going to see what pulls up next. Internet historian. Ah, oh, yes. Another, uh, uh, yeah, I have followed him since he uploaded his first video. I think it was about the Dub the Do contest. But, oh my goodness. The Internet historian only uploads like once every blue moon, but when he does, woo! It's always a banger. And believe it or not, I have done reaction channels um, on my Andrew Lehman Walker channel about him. He is supremely entertaining. He's always he's always got something to uh, say. Um, the Coast of Concordia, his last episode that he uploaded, it's a thing of beauty. It's a it's so historically accurate too. It's unbelievable. You guys gotta look him up. Internet historian. Let's go and spin the wheel to see who will be joining us in slot 7 for episode 5. Good lord, this wheel is lagging. I'm doing this on the Brave browser, by the way. Angel Dust! It was only going to be a lot. It was only going to be an inevitability before I, we finally see our favorite spider demon uh, from Hasden Hotel. Angel Dust. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can't, so excited to finally have him on the uh, medley tournament. I think he was in the last year's uh, medley tournament. Why did I say last? When did I do the? When did I do the last trivia murder party two medley tournament? Was that? Was that? Holy crap! That may have been two years ago. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spin the wheel one more go and see what we pull up for the last slot in episode five. It's going to be. Hunter Peterson Limonade. I am a very entertaining person. I no, that was that was a horrible attempt to uh, do a Limonade impression. But yeah, look him up. That's his channel name in the parentheses. Limonade. Also, he does a uh, do voice work for the uh, Buzzer TV commercials. Beautiful, freaking beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. But anyway, um, yeah, Limonade. I am now in the Premium Murder Party Tournament. Like I, for, and he's a like great voice actor, too. I cannot emulate that freaking dude's voice for some reason. Even though it does sound like it's incredibly easy. That's how talented he is. He is muy, muy, muy talented. Deep, talented. What the hell's the Spanish word for talent? I'm just going to spend the... Well, before I spin the wheel, recap for episode 5. Tom Grossi, Valentino, Fuck you, rats, man! Sweet Sally Mae, Brian Zane, Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers, the legendary internet historian, Angel Dust, and, of course, Hunter Peterson from Limonade for episode 5. I'm going to spin the wheel one more go. All right, first slot in episode six is Bob Shady. That's the uh, former quarterback from the Nukes London Patriots from Mutant Football League. Now he's the quarterback for the Terra Bay Mutineers. Bob Shady. All right, and this guy's a legendary quarterback. He's been in the business for 21 years, and he has not died at all. Unless, of course, you've seen my Sim League stream. Community Coffee Dark Roast, ladies and gentlemen, with just a splash of the uh, mm, Coffee Mate Creamer. I think the flavor I got was French Vanilla. It's just, oh, knowledge, baby, knowledge. Spin the wheel one more time to see who takes uh, episode six, slot two. It's going to be... Time Bomb! Another one of the heel characters from the Pyrofighters Federation, Alana's OC. 
Uh, oh, oh, time bomb and bomb shady. Oh, I, I want to see what they're gonna do for that episode. They're either going to team up or just go right at each other right off the bat. Oh, it's going to be inter for containing. All right, here we go. Next up on the docket, we have. Gulak Revolve! Surprise! You're in the tournament as well! Alright, so anybody that doesn't know who Gurek Revolve is, if you guys go on my uh, Mutant Football League uh, episodes and you go into the comment section, nearly every single one of them has Gurek Revolve something to say. It's always hilarious, it's always entertaining, it's always informative. This guy is one of my. gonna be one of my new best friends on the internet. He is. Oh, he is the reason I am still doing the Mutant Football League streams because it's all... And another reason is, fuck Madden, fuck the No Fun League, you want the Mega Fun League, you want the Mutant Football League. Oh, Gurak Revo, congratulations, you are in the tournament. And you're going up against Bob Shady and Time Bob directly. Lots of luck to you. Alright, you got this. You got this. Um, hold on a minute. Right. He has one of the um, unusual spelling names, so I want to make sure I spelt that right. Um, Gurek, by the way, if that was not how I spelled your name on the show, please let me know in the comments section so I get your name right. <laughs> anyway, joining um, Bob Shady, Time Bomb, and Gurek Revil for episode 6 and slot number 4 is going to be... Oh, by the way, I put Urinating Tree on the wheel. I wonder if uh, Urinating Tree would ever pop up. Anyway. Hip Pedals from MLPG5. I think she is the uh, Princess Pegasus, I'm pretty sure. Or at least that's what I read in the uh, Wikipedia description. Anyway, I like I said, I didn't see the damn uh, film myself. Spinning the wheel. Okay, I think after this uh, selection show straight series, Rose Chu, the OG Rose Chu from the Chris Chan lore. Oh, 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 oh this is going to be a very interesting episode. Very interesting episode. But yeah, um, like I was fixing to say, I might actually just go on Netflix and watch the Gamma movie after this. Just so I can be more familiar. I have not seen anything from MLP. Um, for a long, long, long time. I think the last time I regularly watched MLP was back before my nephew was born in 2016. Good lord. And I still call myself a brony, and I still have the talking brony as one of my usernames on the internet. Like, what the hell? How could I be the talking brony if I haven't seen any MLP in a good long while? Good lord almighty. Anyways, um, I'm going to spin the wheel one more go. Oh, Nyx! Alana's OC! Okay, so uh, I got a little bit of a backstory for Nyx. Um, Nyx, I think, is the Lord of Darkness in the Night um, that was created by Alana. Um, so, if you go on Alana Troy's DeviantArt uh, page and you go down to, like, June 2021... She was doing Pride Month and was doing, like, Pride Flags on her OCs and all the characters and all that stuff. She actually did not... There was not a Pride Flag for Nyx's uh, Attraction of the Night. That's literally his only uh, romantic attraction is to the night. And she wanted a custom flag design. Me being a drunk person... Uh, that had way too many Not Your Father's Root Beers, decided to drunkenly create a flag for her that um, that would represent Nyx. And she liked it so much, so we kind of went back and forth a little bit on creating the flag. And yeah, it's going to be up on her um, DeviantArt page. Look for Nyx, um, spelled that way, pride flag um, from like June 2021. It is a thing of beauty. It is a lot. She did it a lot better than the way I did it. I just literally looked up the flag of Scotland and did some recolor. But but it is 
a thing of beauty. Like I said, Alana Atroid is going to be defending her belt in the tournament, but she is also an extremely talented artist. Oh my goodness. Um, I would I would commission her the 30 bucks to uh, make an OC of myself, but unfortunately, bills, all that stuff, I gotta, I gotta support my family, and uh, yeah, and I got, and I, when Christmas is coming up, I gotta get presents for uh, my nephew, my niece. I got, I gotta get presents for my family, you know. Also, I got, I got, I got to eat, you know. Anyways, we're gonna spin the wheel one more go. See who gets epic slot seven. Oh my goodness, what if Alana Troy and Nick make it to the championship? Anyway. <laughs> oh yes that guy yes dream from dream smp if you don't know a lot of Troy started uh drawing a fan art and doing that whole animaic for um the dream smp i was like a lot of what are you going on and i've been going and i've been looking up all the thumbnails on my channel being like fmmp m dreams fandom is like so toxic like what the hell is going on so i had to look back at it Apparently, Dream cheated during one of the live streams of speed running through Minecraft when he said he wasn't using any mods. When in reality, we all called him out for using mods. So yeah, that's why I put yes, comma that guy in the parentheses. But yeah, Dream is going to be in the uh, in the same episode as Gurik Revil and Bomb Shady. Oh, he might actually die and. <laughs> Does he deserve it? I'll leave it to you guys. I'll leave it to you guys. All right. I actually don't have an opinion one way or another because I'm not. Uh, I'm not a dream stan. All right. I'm just a guy that's watching the world burn, as they always say. Anyway, we're gonna spin the wheel one more go. Ollie Davis from Wrestle Talk. That's going to be the uh, last slot in the uh, in the episode six. Why did I write Davis? Davies. There we go. All right. So episode six, the OG. Oh, by the way, Ollie Davis is the OG uh, presenter of Wrestle Talk before anybody else came on board. Anyway, episode six, time slots. Bomb Shady, Time Bomb. Gurek Revolt, Pip Petals, Rose Chew, Nyx, Dream, and Ollie Davis. Oh boy, we are going to have a very interesting episode once that finally gets on board. Alright, here we go. We only got 15 more slots to go. Slot 1 for episode 7 is going to be occupied by... That wheel's gonna stop soon, right? All right, here we go. We got Magic Chan. Oh, the psychic electric Pokemon from the Chris Chan lore. This is, and also one of Chris Chan's husbands. Yes, Chris Chan is in a polyamorous relationship with himself, uh, the OG Sonichu, Magic Chan, uh, Sylvania, Rose Chu, and Mewtwo. Don't ask why. Like I said, I went too far deep in that goddamn rabbit hole, okay? Let's just go ahead and uh, spin the wheel one more go. See who's going to join Magic Chan in Episode 7. It shall be... Come on, Will. Cooperate with me today. Stoles! Ah, the deadly hoot hoot! From Hell of a Boss, I, I am so sorry I tried calling Stolas Daddy Hoot Hoot. But, uh, yeah, that's actually, uh, the name of his, um, Boxtagram account. Um, from, yeah, there was, like, some weird stuff going on on Instagram. Anyway, Stolas from Hell of a Boss, the Owl Demon, is on board. We're gonna spin the wheel, see who gets, uh, at slot number three. It will be Tobo, also from the Dream SMP series. That's the one that um, created his own 
Republic of Craziness that was featured in uh, Alana Troy's Animaic. Oh my <laughs> Oh god. Who the hell let Tubbo be president? Please don't ever let Tubbo be president of your own OC world. Anyway, we're going to spin the reel to see who joins Magic Chan Skullis and uh, Tubbo in Episode 7. Uh, apologies if you heard me fart. It's going to be... Adam Jackson for 5 points vids! Damn, son! That's right, ladies and gentlemen. 5 points vids. Adam Jackson is now in the tournament. Alright, so if you don't know what Adam Jackson is, 5 points vids is the name of the... Or 5 points sports. I, I forgot what it was. But anyway... Um, I started following him because he posted uh, videos about stadiums, and I am a massive, massive freak of stadiums. All right, and one of the and I got two stadium display. I got uh, more stadium displays. One of uh, um, Wrigley Field of Chicago that I got at a um, Junkin sale when I went to Grand Junction. It, per, it was made to commemorate the uh, 2016 World Series. I got the Astrodome when the Astros won the World Series. I got uh, Texas A&M's Kyle Field, and that's how I switched out from being a Texas A&M Longhorns fan to a, to a certified 12th man Aggie. Yes, I am now an Aggies fan. And I have my own custom-made Lego Super Stadium uh, retractable roof and everything. In fact, I will probably display it in one of my uh, YouTube shorts uh, at some point in the future. Anyway, Adam Jackson, five points bid, best stadium uh, YouTuber, and he's also friends with uh, um, Tom Grossi, Brandon Perna, and uh, Urinating Tree. I'm going to spin the wheel one more time to see who will join Magic Chance, Dolus, Tubbo, and Adam Jackson. Alright, and joining them will be... Zipstorm from the MLP uh, G5 series. Zipstorm. Alright, we're going to spin the wheel. Yeah, I'm kind of spending a lot of time... Um, on my backstory and explaining who they are, and I gotta get the wheel spinning. We still got more slots to fill. Ashley Nichols, the creator of, I think the creator or co-creator of the Farfetch series. Um, I first known her from the uh, Honey Cast, where the voice actors for Haspen Hotel were also featured on there, and she also created. Um, it's called Farfetch. It was originally Hell Puppy. I saw the whole lore behind all this, and I'm just going to say this. Please stop making goth dudes super hot. And I'm talking about uh, Quinn Huckley. Um, if you don't know who Quinn Huckley is, if you Google him and write far-fetched on there, you're going to regret it because you will have funny feelings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna lie he looks incredibly hot anyway <laughs> oh my god uh, uh, yeah I'm a weirdo okay I'm the same guy that spends more than half of his life uploading CPU versus CPU sports sims fall guys does pretends to be eight different characters on Jackbox that's the whole point of this freaking tournament and uh, and and is pretending to be the commissioner of his own mutant football leagues. Oh my god. I'm a weirdo. I'm a weirdo, okay? And I'm an entertaining weirdo. Spin the wheel! Let's see who else is going to join them. It's going to be... Hopefully selected soon. This wheel is lagging like crazy. Tomas Javier Bernardo! <gasps> Tomas! Yes, you are also in the tournament. Oh! Now, if anybody doesn't know, Tomas Javier Bonal, he, he came up with the most suggestions for uh, Jackbox Games episodes as of recently. When I started doing the campaign of uh, new subscribers, he started throwing in all these ideas, and 
uh, nearly all of them have made their way onto the, my channel in some capacity or another. But yeah, Tomas Javier Banero Trujillo, um, yeah, you're now in the tournament. And you're going up against Magic Chance, Dulles Tubbo, Adam Jackson, Zips Dorm, Ashley Nichols. And you got one more opponent to be selected for Episode 7. Who shall it be? It will be... Velvet from Hasbin Hotel. I think she's the candy overlord or the social media. I forgot what the lore behind her is. But yeah, she's the crazy one that's following uh, Velvet... Valentino and Vox. I think they're both in the... Yeah, Valentino's in uh, episode 5 and Vox is in the first one. Right, so there we go. We got Velvet now. Alright, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 7, Magic Chan, Stolas, Tubbo, Adam Jackson, Zip Storm, Ashley Nichols, Tomas, and Velvet. Alright, episode 8. First slot's already been filled. It's Alana Artori defending her championship title. And we're going to find out who is going to join her for the eighth and final of the preliminary episode. So we're going to spin the wheel. All right. And it's going to be Cletus from the ch one of the cherubs from Hell of a Boss. Yes, Cletus. That is a weird name. For a cherub, and I think I spelt it incorrectly. Maybe, maybe not. I'm gonna spin the wheel. We're gonna fill in slot number three for episode. I mean, episode eight. Yeah, I was saying it right. Like I said, I'm going all without Nelly, without a script. Nelly, that is the uh, one. One of the other main characters from Hell of a Boss. We're gonna really speed run through this one as fast as I can. Unless, of course, I find someone of interesting note. And... Schmitty! Oh, that is one of the OG hosts from You Don't Know Jack outside of uh, Cookie Masterson and Nate Shapiro, the very first guy. Anyway, we're going to spin the wheel once more, see who gets slot number five. Michael Kovac, Alice, um, Angel Dust's um, voice, the voice of Angel Dust in Hasbin Hotel. Pretty amazing. All right, Alana, Cletus, Millie, Schmitty, Michael Kovac. Three more slots, ladies and gentlemen. Three more slots. Maybe. Baggy! Oh, yes, Baggy is the uh, moth demon from Hasbin Hotel. Whoo! Feisty, fiery, Lat I want to say Latino? Oh, I mean, Latina. I meant to say Latina. Because she is, I mean, she has that Latina accent going, and she is very fluent in Spanish, I believe, according to the Hasbin Hotel lore. Yeah, she's super fluent in Spanish. Neither am I. No se habla espanol. <laughs> mucho, mucho, mucho. I am. I think I butchered that. I butchered it horribly. Please don't at me in the comment section. Anyway, slot number seven is going to be uh, occupied by. Who's going to take the last one? It's going to be. Laverne Cavern! She is the cave witch from uh from the newest of the Jackbox games, uh Pole Mine. So that will be a very interesting addition. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the eighth and final slot of the Trivia Murder Party 2 Medley Tournament will be occupied by Oh boy, who's going to get the last slot? Rosie from Has Been Hotel. Yes, I think she is 
one of Alistair's interests or something like that, basic but she was one of the, she is definitely one of the overlords of the of the lore. Anyway, eighth and final episode is Alana Troy, Cletus, Millie, Schmitty, Michael Kovac, Vaggy, Laverne Cavern, and Rosie. Kinda upset that uh Urinating Tree and Alistair did not make it in the tournament, but then again, there's still lots of slots left. I'm going to refresh the wheel. We have the original Trivia Murder Party Medley Tournament coming up very soon. The selection show is. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and recap one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 1, Brandon Perner, Cookie Masterson, Hitch Trailblazer, Andrew WK, Vox, Striker, Cherry Bomb, and Chris Chan. Episode 2, Bubbles Rose Chew, Queen Chrysalis, Blitz, Luna, Goldenheart, Izzy Moonbow, Bricks Jr., Trailblazer, one of the... Um, OCs for Alana. Episode 3, Husk, Gino Samuel, Pete Quinnell, Luke Owen, Blake, Skull Shockers, Guy Towers, Keeney. Episode 4, Octavia, Liquid Chris, Dylan Thomas, Wilbur, Punchy Sonichu, Phyllis Cloverly, Fitzeroli, Serpentius. Episode 5, Tom Grossi, Valentino, Sally May, Brian Zane, Mudahar, Internet Historian, Angel Dustin, Limonade. Episode 6, Bomb Shady, Time Bomb, Gurek Revo, Pip Piddles, Rose Chew, Nix, Dream, Ollie Davis. Episode 7, Magic.